Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Obaseki, Makinde, Wike, Fayoshi, and others make PDP team for a dual election campaign. Oh, my people, see what these guys are up to, the big boys of PDP. It's a shame because... Um, the person of Obaseki started his campaign under the uh, broom. <laughs> yes, and um, he was a he was a, he's not someone who will live, you know, on presidented. But I mean, Ushomole made sure of that, and he left the party. He's now in PDP, and he's doing everything, working alongside with PDP. You see, all because of one man's decision, and that very decision that's. You know, that stinge, that staunch, uh, Obaseki must not, blah, 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 blah. You know, the whole, the whole primaries is going, you know, the Hausa man, he will not shout, okay? It's not like someone from the south, from the Bende, Delta area that before you say Jack, they already, you know, fire and brainstorm. They will keep quiet and be watching and say, Kai, 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 this guy is spitting fire. If we don't contain him, he will burn us all. He will set up the place on fire. And that's why Buhari moved the motion for Shomole to be dismissed. When he went to visit Buhari recently, he was saying, I remain lawyer, I remain lawyer. I really wish sincerely, and if you're listening, please pass on this message, that somebody somewhere is actually advising Adam to Shomole so that he does not end his political career. I know what I'm talking about. Because you, you, you can't be playing, you can't be swimming in, his, in, a, in, a, in, his, in a, whatever it is of... of, of of gladiators or of crocodiles you can't swim in a river full of crocodiles no you can't what are your chances so obaseki you know a week fire she uh marking day they are all meeting in ondo to you know flag off for the pdp campaign uh uh, uh, uh person over there it's really sad because, you know, I wish he has continued with the party he started with and all this achievement was given to the party. Mm -hmm. Let's continue and get on with all the details. Ahead of the October 10th governorship election in Ondo State, the National Body of the People Democratic Party, PDP, has released the list of 145 men campaign committee that will be in charge of the campaign. The committee will oversee the election campaign in Ondo State and, more importantly, to secure victory in the next election. The information was contained in the letter released and signed by the National Publicity Secretary of the party, Kola. It was, however, made available on party official Twitter handle. Yesterday, with the release of list, it clearly shows that the PDP are not ready for joke with the Ondo state election, as APC is getting ready as well. It was made known that campaign team will be Chaired by the chaired by the governor of Oyo State, H. E. Sheyima Kinde, the governor of Zamfara State, Belu, will be deputy chairman. Halaji Mabrusa as the secretary. Wai Musa Salimo and Sunday will be the administrative assistants and administrative secretaries, respectively. These are all expected to be at the flag of campaign for Ondo State. The list is endless, 145 men. I don't want to bore you with the list, but you can always assess them. And if you don't mind, if you like, I can post the list so you can see the names for yourself. With the list of campaign battle ready, there is the clear indication that the People Democratic Party is ready for a serious campaign in Ondo State. And this will be taking place and starting with immediate effect. So this is what is happening now in Ondo State. Uh, Governor Gordon Obaseki, alongside other governors, will be going there to support their uh, PDP candidates and uh, to get him ready and to sensitize the people that PDP is the party for you. You know, these are all going down here, yeah, all in history and all that. But the truth of the matter is, youth of today, we must rise up. We must not allow ourselves to be used continually by a set of people who do not want us to make progress. Whether PDP, APC, it's just that somebody must start up in a party. Yes, 
And so when you start, it's, it's very compulsory that someone must start up in a party. When you start up in that party, yes, when you start in that party, then you begin to correct the abnormalities. That's why we are begging all our youths, everyone, please join a political party. Don't stay on the sideline and say, it's not my business. Don't do that. Don't. Please. Don't stay on the sideline and be giving brilliant ideas. It won't fly. It won't go anywhere. If you don't effectively, if you don't consciously join a political party, if it means you, I'm not saying PDP, APC is the best party. If it means you starting there, okay? Because the truth is you must, we as what we call apprenticeship. We must go in, we must go in as youth and understand how this game is played so that we cannot come in effectively and give what a decisive meaning to our politics. We must go in and we must, you know, we must, we must state what we want. We cannot allow ourselves to be intimidated. We must go in and begin to effect change gradually. Make your presence known. Make your voice known. You know, the, the people of today, those of them that are there, don't want to give us a chance. They don't want it. No. If giving them the chance, they want to, they want to rule till they go to their grave. They don't want the youth to come on board at all. But they've forgotten that when um, Buhari, Olusegun Obasanjo, and their likes, they all started politics. They were young men. Today, we have young, young people from over 35, 40, well-read, you know, that have gotten themselves together, well-educated, even have giftings and, you know, the, the qualification to show for us in administration, political science, and what have you. But they will never allow, because you know what? Power is sweet. They get there, they want to continue to rule and detect to us how things should be done. But what do we do? We have to get involved. We cannot stay on the sideline. We have to get involved. We have to get involved and effect change gradually. Change will not happen if we stay there and we are just moaning. No, it won't happen. You and I have to say, you know what? It's time to move forward. Uh, do and undo elections are a defining moment in you know, Nigerian political history. Everybody's watching, especially in Edo State. The whole world is watching and saying, let's see what will happen. Let's see if PDP will be true to themselves. Let's see if APC will be true with integrity that Buhari has said he was coming to fight. Let's see if Buhari will truly, you know, uh, embrace integrity with regards to this election. This is what we are talking about. This is where, we, that's where we are. That's where we, that's why we are where we are. If we don't rise up, if we allow this people to continue to detect to us, we might not go forward. We might, we might not effectively make the change that we so anticipate because most of them are still analog. Mm -hmm. They are still analog and the world has been digitalized. In fact, the world is moving in such a fast pace that they cannot keep up. And that's why you cannot see tangible change. They don't, most of them don't even know the right persons to come and inv you know, invest in our economy. If they go to China and they continue to take loan without reading the Chinese sprints because they cannot even interpret it or even call forth in good interpreters and look at this bid. Look at the document we are signing. Guys, what do you think? Leave us a comment.